Oh. Am I in? Oh, I'm Well, in that first. was awkward. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? It's Fam Cam. And we have a very, very special guest tonight. That's awkward ASMR. We're going to be playing a little bit of Mario Kart 8 together. I'll have a link to her channel down below in the description, both YouTube and Twitch, as well as a link to her perspective of this collab, which will be on her channel. Please do yourselves a favor and check her out. She uses an animoji for a face cam, which, ah, genius. <laughs> that being said, let's get started. Because I am a huge sadist, we're going to do 200cc, no teams, um, frantic items. That is the only way to play. Yes. Hard computers, all vehicles, four races. Let's do this. We'll probably do more than four races, but four races at a time because that's how Mario Kart Online multiplayer works. Yeah, for sure. Before we started recording, I was um I was just telling her that um, her perspective and my perspective in the lobby look different. Like on my screen, we're standing on Europe. On her screen, I'm gonna I'm not gonna tell you where we're where we're standing because I want you to go watch our video too. <laughs> and I <laughs> let's uh I'm gonna vote Royal Raceway. She picked random. Yes, yes. Alright, Royal Raceway N64 it is. I am not too good at Mario Kart, but I do love to play. So it was a lot of fun. Well next time we collab, uh let's play a game that you're good at that I uh, have very little <laughs> experience in. I believe it's nice. <laughs> Like maybe, I always like find... maybe Generation Zero or whatever it uh, was you were streaming earlier today is the time you're oh, recording. Generation yeah. Zero. I, I don't know if that's that. ASMR, friend. It's it's not, <laughs> but I've played Among Us in ASMR. True. <laughs> I have too. It kind of works, though. It kind of works. It, yeah. The ASMR nerd played Doom in ASMR a couple times uh, for April Fool's Day. <laughs> wow. I find um, what I liked about uh, not doing ASMR on Twitch was that I can play crazy games yeah, exactly. and not worry about being too loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whenever I'm streaming non ASMR gaming, it gets crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to change it out, but I love, like, um, I have recording days, um, so Tuesday evenings are my recording days, usually, oh, okay. and I find, uh, I always get excited to jump back into ASMR yeah. um, gaming, so I like, I like doing both. I often pick this map because it's the first map I played on uh, Mario Kart 64 when it first came out. Um, oh. Target was uh, not sponsored, but Target was uh, my family's go-to mm. whenever we went to buy video games. There were, when I was little, there were no stores in my town that um, sold video games. There was one that rented out them, but they didn't sell them. Um, we always had to drive out of town for them. Uh, and I always spent our time there playing the N64 that was there. And um, hey, congratulations. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. Yeah. And um, Royal Raceway happened to be the map that was open when I jumped into play. And um, oh. I was floored by it. Having, wow. having previously played Super Mario Kart on um, Super Nintendo, I was just blown away. And a couple months before that, Super Mario 64 and the M64 was first out. Um, 
they had that as the game you play. And I literally thought it was claymation. (laughs) I thought it was claymation. (laughs) That's wild. Yeah, Yeah. my first experience with Mario Kart, it's kind of lame, but we couldn't afford like game consoles until I was a bit older. So Mm. the Wii was my first game console we we, we owned. Um, I had played them before, but like just at friends' houses if they wanted to play. So um, that Mario Kart on the Wii was my first experience with Mario Kart. Nice. And I just remember, yeah, just every day. I was every day playing Mario Kart. I wish that um, that Nintendo never shut down the servers for online gameplay Mario Kart Wii. Because if they didn't, we could totally play that if you still have it. Yeah, I don't have it anymore. Uh. My Wii actually, my brother, he's a bit, he's nine years younger than me. Uh. But we're like best friends. It doesn't matter uh. that we're, our age gap is that big anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when we were younger, it did. It was, it was a, we would like get in little fights and stuff. Like, I don't know, but now we're like the best, we're best of friends. Aww. And, um, yeah, he, he would kick our Wii <laughs> <laughs> um, whenever he would lose. And so, I'm, um, yeah. I'm, I'm so fortunate that my sister and I are old enough for uh, her not to have kicked the Wii when we played that. Instead, she th- instead she would throw uh, her Super Nintendo dog bone controller at me when I won. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. That's, that's yeah. how old we are. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, and th- like, the dynamics of my siblings with gaming is so different. We all game, but we're all very different in the way that we choose what video games we play. Yeah. And it's just interesting. I did a thing. Oh. I came ninth. (laughs) Yo, good job. You you came first. I did. I'm still covered in um, ink. Yeah. I almost said oil, but it's actually ink. Yeah. Oh, you made me ink. Remember that? (laughs) Yeah. That's a great movie. Yeah, because Yoshi is my favorite character in all of gaming, I always at least once pick Yoshi Valley, even though Mm -hmm. it's not one of my favorite levels on Mario Kart 64. I actually like how it plays a lot better on Mario Kart 8 than Mm -hmm. how it does on the original, uh, its its original appearance of Mario Kart 64. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Probably the frame rate. Yeah, probably. Because so much is going on in Yoshi Valley that I'm sure it's taxing on the CPU of the N64. True. We sh- I'll pick that one next time. <laughs> I always go random because I don't remember all of the the levels. So I uh, just go with whatever. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. One thing about Mario Kart that uh, that is amazing but also can be frustrating is uh, how fast you can drop in rank while you're, mm. like, you can get hit by one thing and it messes up the game. Oh, yeah. That's that's Mario uh, multiplayer uh, spinoff games in a nutshell. I mean, look at Mario Party. True. It's true. specifically designed for the person who was in first place all game long to get screwed over at the end. Yeah. Oh. Got hit. Let's go. Let's Did you go. ever oh, Did sorry. I ever what? Did you ever notice um, that certain oh. computers yes. when you play are more aggressive? Like for us, like in my family, it's Baby Peach is on another level. Really? Yeah, just like so aggressive, and we don't it, know why. I noticed that it depends on the character you're playing as. When you're oh. playing as Yoshi, 
Donkey Kong is often the biggest aggressor. In fact, one of my favorite Let's Players, Dashi, um, mm -hmm. is famous for hating Donkey Kong because of Mario Kart 8. Oh, crap. I forgot we were both going to pick Yoshi Valley. <laughs> That's okay. Oh. Uh -oh. That's weird. We're doing I've... Yoshi Valley. Yeah. The one I voted for is one every time. That's weird. Maybe because I'm losing. <laughs> it's, a, it's a petty... I never thought of that. It's who you choose. Yeah, usually I'm. Sh I think there's some exceptions, but I, more often than not, I uh, I find myself head to head with Donkey Kong as I play as Yoshi. Mm. I'm always baby Mario. I don't know if that has anything to do, but I know Peach was. Like on the Wii, I noticed it, and I was like, that's my arch nemesis as a kid. I bet rescuing Peach felt cringy then. <laughs> <laughs> You're fighting Mario's nemesis to rescue your own. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. It's okay. It's actually funny. Um, everyone calls me awkward because that's like the quickest abbreviation of of the name. Yeah. And I think it's funny sometimes. It's so it's so fascinating when you become a content creator because eventually you become much more known for your uh for your uh, creator name than your actual name mm -hmm. even if even if uh even if people know your actual name like like my name is keith and and most of most of the closest fam camions that's what i call my followers yes. um do call me that but i'm still much more known as fam cam now than keith and this despite not being known as fan cam at all for the first 31 years of my life. <laughs> oh, it, it is. It's interesting. They, um, everyone, like most, like you said, people that, like on Discord especially, know my name is Tatiana. Yeah. But, um, like it's, it's just, it's, they'll always still call me awkward or like other content creators will be like, oh, hey, awkward. And it's just kind of funny. It just makes me like chuckle. Yeah. That I'm known as awkward, which is, I chose it because I'm kind of awkward in, in real life, so it kind of works. I think it's genius. I, it, the first time I found your channel, I was actually blown away by how awesome your name is. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I got silver. My, yo, that was good. I picked um, Super Nintendo Rainbow Road. I'm always showing my age with my level choices. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Mount Wario. All right. Every time I play this level, I'm reminded that it's been a decade since I last went skiing. And that makes mm. me sad. I was going to go skiing this year, but for obvious reasons, no. Yeah, yeah. Better to be safe. Mm -hmm. I've never... You know what? It's It's kind of dumb. I live in Canada. It snows, like, almost all the time. Yeah. And... I don't know how to do any winter sports. I don't even know how to skate. Oh, it's a lot of fun. It sucks when you first learn it, but after mm -hmm. after a couple tries, it's a lot of fun. Once once you know what you're doing, it's yeah. it's amazing. It's they have of... um. I don't know if this is true everywhere, but um, in California, they. Uh, Ski resorts have uh, um, have their slopes difficulty measured by shapes. Um, oh. Green green circle for uh, uh, green circle for easy, blue square for medium, and black diamond for hard. Um, if if uh, if y'all are skiers from other places and and have it, the system a little bit different, let me know or let Tatiana know in the comments, depending on whose channel you're watching, and actually let us both know in both our comments. Yeah. Do it. 
I accidentally uh, hit the X button to um, see behind me, and you mm. were just right there. Oh. And then I started crashing everywhere. That's kind of how driving is in real life. It, you know what? Yes, it is like <laughs> that. If you're uh, staring your rearview mirror when um, there's a lot of uh, stuff in your way and you have to keep turning back and forth, you're screwed. Yep. It's funny how driving sometimes cars can come out of nowhere and you're mm -hmm. like, I'm pretty sure that happened to me. I'm a pretty, I, w I would say, I would toot, toot my own horn and say I'm a pretty <laughs> good driver. Yeah. Um, and one time on the highway, someone just popped, it's like they popped out of nowhere behind me and I I had just checked. We were, no nothing ever happened. Everyone was fine. Like there was no collision, but I was just like spooked, like how fast things can change. You have yeah. to really pay attention. Mm -hmm. Like in Mario Kart. You got second. Well done. Um, yeah. I, uh. I've had some similar experience. I remember one particular one where I was uh, stopped at a stop sign, and and um, this is like in rural America, um, so you wouldn't expect a lot of people there. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was stopped at a stop sign, and as I started to barely move the wheel, suddenly there was a car going lightning fast, honking their horn, and... Um, the uh i can't even remember if this was the passenger or the driver because they were going so fast but i saw a split second of them aggressively giving me the bird oh wow yeah when i barely didn't even cross the uh stop line i was just moving the wheels about to yeah it's nuts it's yeah it's crazy A lot of stars, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of racers have stars right now. And yeah, that was me a second ago. I said this a thousand times on stream and probably a few videos as well, but I'm gonna say it again. Nintendo, please, please bring back F Zero. <laughs> yes. As much as I love that they put F Zero like levels in Mario Kart Eight, it doesn't count. I want to. I want another. I want a brand new, real F Zero game. Mm -hmm. I say as I've never played F Zero GT. <laughs> mm -hmm. One of these Me. decades, I will. What if Nintendo is actually spying on me and decided never to release a new uh, <laughs> F Zero game until I played GT? Maybe. Can you imagine? I bet they are. <laughs> With their Nintendo ninjas. <laughs> they're Nintendo Ninja. <laughs> Wasn't that a thing? I Everyone don't know. Says, says their lawyers are ninjas. They got ninjas working for oh, them. Oh, that is true. I heard actually once this guy got a a tattoo of the Triforce on his like forearm. Mm -hmm. And he posted a picture and then Nintendo wanted him to remove it. I don't know if this is true, but I heard this. <laughs> it and sounds... I was like... It sounds like it could both be a rumor, but also something Nintendo's ninjas totally would do. Right? Like, it sounds like, I was like, this is, this is like 60% probably true. So on my screen, screen, I'm standing in your country and you're standing in mine. Oh. <laughs> I'm so, I, I did great in Canadian geography, but that's, that's all I know. We didn't learn. Mm. You actually had to take another course to learn geography for the rest of the world which was weird uh -huh. so i never took it because I, oh. I took all kinds of other courses so i i only know some canadian geography hmm. which is kind of sad i loved geography growing up i was actually when i was in fifth grade i um i got second in a geography b um just barely being topped by a homeschool student wow but to be fair the question I got wrong that cost me first place was one mm -hmm. that uh, that I got wrong out of pure negligence because I I, I knew the answer. Um, 
but I just had a dumb brain fart on stage. And uh -huh. so the question was, um, and again, this isn't necessarily an easy question for people outside the U.S., but people who live in the U.S. who are studying geography should know this. Mm -hmm. um, the question was, what is the only state in the New England region that touches the Atlantic Ocean? I said Connecticut. Oh. It's Vermont. Oh. That could have been nerves. Maybe. Yeah. It was pretty awkward, pun intended. <laughs> but oh, you know, man, I was still I was still proud of myself. Yeah. I feel like uh sometimes people get really down on themselves. But sometimes yeah. like just think of the, the like how you got there and how amazing that is. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I um a few years ago I read something really interesting that Apparently, studies have found that people who get second place are often more sad about the results than those mm -hmm. who get third because people who get second have a bigger tendency to compare themselves to the to the to the um the one who got first. Right. Whereas oh. the people in third tend to do that less and instead of comparing themselves to others, they acknowledge their own uh level of achievement, which is a great metaphor for a lot of content creators out, out there, yeah. I see a lot of people getting discouraged because they keep comparing themselves to the quote-unquote elites. Um, yeah. I take quote-unquote with a grain of salt. I mean, the the biggest creators like GB, Frivy, Darling, yeah. they're all fantastic. Yeah. But mm -hmm. in the end, in the end, they're humans like you and I. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, and I look at them as, as such uh, human beings uh, who uh, make amazing content to that um that earned them the success that they got um but whenever i see whenever one of, whenever i see one of them in, in a twitch chat i don't go oh my god darling i watch all your videos i mm -hmm. don't do that i just no. i just go I, I i just i just treat him like a normal human being because right i know that um at the end of the day they want to be accepted. They want to be loved. Uh, mm -hmm. They they want they want to feel they want to feel like they're uh, they're one of us. I mean, I can't speak for other people, but generally mm -hmm. speaking, most people want to want to feel uh, they're part of that instead of being separated yeah. from everybody else. Because if everybody treats you like a celebrity and not a human, mm -hmm. eventually you're gonna you're gonna feel a sort of disconnect from everybody else. Right. I. Um, 10-ish years ago, I um, I was on a cruise that had um, karaoke, and throughout that entire cruise, um, a lot of the other passengers treat me like a, not to toot my own horn, but treat me like a celebrity because, um, because I sang really well. And mm -hmm. while I was flattered, I also felt, God, imagine having that happen to you every day for your entire life. That would actually yeah. kind of suck. Yeah. So... So I, um, so I never treat famous people like famous people. I treat them like somebody like me, yeah. um, while acknowledging how, uh, great they're, um, they are what they do and, and, um, and, uh, how much I enjoy their content. I'm not going to, I'm not going to treat them like they're, they're, I'm not going to treat them that, like they're not human beings. I guess right. is what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it can be hard just, like, I think I would, uh, like, if any, like, if GB showed up in my, or, like, Maddie Tingle showed up in my, uh, like, streamer comments, I think I would mm -hmm. just be confused. <laughs> <laughs> but I would yeah. I would be chill, you know, because they, they are people and, like... Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Like, I was, when you were talking about it, I was thinking of, um this thing I heard recently about the actress from Stranger Things mm -hmm. and like she's she's like a teenager and she was shopping with her mom and this person was videotaping her that's was not like, cool dude that's a kid like regardless of what her job is that's like mm -hmm. a kid dude and yeah. this she was like really upset and I was like talking to my sister and she's like she's like she's like yo like Tatiana we would never do that and I was like yeah we would we would never do that. Like, of anything, if, I, like, someone who has, like, um, 
I don't know who's like maybe a celebrity or well known. If they like look me in the eye and they see me in the store, I'm just gonna like give them a nod or like, hey, and then that's it. I'm just yeah. gonna, you know, just like, hey, I see you and like, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. much. Um, it's so it's so funny. Sometimes sometimes uh, people you look up to like that can mm-hmm. end up. Uh, becoming some of your best friends um, mm-hmm. when you start doing the kind of work that they do. Um, uh, the quintessential example for me is uh, Nick, the ASMR nerd. Um, mm-hmm. When I first, uh, I was about to pick Yoshi Valley again. When I first got into ASMR, um, the channel I found it through is Review Tech USA, which is not an ASMR channel, but he's done a couple of ASMR videos and he's a big fan of ASMR. Mm-hmm. He did a live stream talking about ASMR and he mentioned the ASMR nerd and, and um, uh, talked about the kinds of things he does, like um, reviewing tech and, and gaming mm-hmm. and all that, which is kind of, what, kind of what Review Tech USA does too, but in ASMR. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I'm a big fan of Review Tech USA and I love asmr um so i might as well uh check out the asmr nerd and i was absolutely mm-hmm. floored uh by his, his stuff in fact he's one of there's there's a handful of asmrs that um that uh f- in particular that inspired me to become a creator and and mm-hmm. nick was one of them and wow. um and uh when i first uh went over to twitch um Nick, Nick and I and this crew um, became friends almost right away. In fact, Nick was the first uh, ASMRs to shout me out on Twitch. And um, oh. a couple weeks ago, he or maybe last week or very recently, he uh, he made me a mod. Oh, wow. So that feels really awesome. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. I remember um, I collabed with... The first collab I ever did was with ASMR Gaming News. Oh, love that um, guy. Yeah, yeah. And so that was the first ASMR gaming channel I had ever seen. Because um, nice. at the time I liked Fortnite. And mm. um, I just remember having a lot of anxiety some nights and thinking like, wow, mm-hmm. I want to watch like gameplay videos, but it just feels too loud. Mm-hmm. And I, I already loved ASMR. And... Um, when I saw that, I was like, wow, like, um, that's really cool. And he kind of inspired me along with like, um, like GB and Maddie Tingles and, um, you know, a lot of the people I was watching and I decided, you know what, like I play video games, like Mm -hmm. I could, I could try this and I decided to try it out and I collabed with ASMR Gaming News and I was so just nervous. (laughs) And then at the end, like. I thought, wow, like a year ago, I was watching ASMR Gaming News and never knew I would be collabing one day. And it Mm -hmm. was kind of like a cool moment. I was like, that's kind of cool. Like, you know, like you never know where life's going to take you. And it was kind of, it was kind of, I don't know, it was kind of cool. Totally. Um, Did you play Fortnite together or where did you play? We played Fall Guys together. Oh, nice. We need to play that. Yeah, Fall Guys was was like I think it was a couple weeks at, or maybe a month after it released, and he was playing it a lot, and I was playing it, so we were, we collabed with it, and it was it was pretty good. I remember the first time I watched you play Fall Guys. Um, uh, you had a bad itch on your nose, but you couldn't scratch it until you got to the end of the vi- uh, uh, video uh, level. Yeah. And and then right when you hit the finish line, you scratched it and your an emoji was just like rapidly nodding its head. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of hard. Um, Like whenever I put my hand in front of my face, it, it like disconnects because mm-hmm. there's no, I can't see and it always looks weird. Or if chat always does say they get scared when it... It, um, like if I turn my head too far, it just resets and it just goes into this weird (laughs) smile and stares at them and it zooms in. Um, that's because I was doing that, yeah. So it's just because it can't a couple times, I think. Yeah, it's because there's no face to track, so it just goes into a default creepy (laughs) smile. So whenever I look away, if someone walks in my room, chat is like, What? That's awkward, yeah. 
Oh my God. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. So I have to try and get in the habit of saying, I'm going to look a, like, I'm going to turn my head. It's going to look weird just so they know. Cause people, when they don't know it does that, they're all, they always, they're like, what is happening? Why yeah, is he doing this? But wait till people come into the stream while you're AFK. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So funny. Oh, oh my God. I am like not doing good this round. Well, now I, I know what to do. Now I know what to do next time I do an ASMR impressions video, when uh, when I um, when I do an impression view. Of me. <laughs> yes. It has to happen now. It has to. I can't I wait. I haven't done one of those in ages, but yeah, it's gonna happen. Yeah, I remember the first time that I um. I think I saw your Twitch first, and you were doing ASMR, and I was like, this guy does ASMR for that long? Like, live? And I was like, that's so hardcore. Yeah. I was like, that's crazy, it, and it, it sounds so good. Thank you. Yeah, doing yeah. ASMR for a long time, yeah. people would think uh wouldn't be so tiring because you're you're very chill the whole time but it can be because mm -hmm. um it's not physically exhausting but it's no. mentally exhausting be mm -hmm. uh, because it's still a stream you're constantly thinking about am i doing a good job and are people mm -hmm. enjoying it um why is my chat slowing down right. how can yeah. i uh, keep my viewer count steady or keep it going things like that am i going to look like an idiot while somebody raids because m most I, I i've come i really should start doing weird awkward uh weird awkward crap because uh, <laughs> i noticed that that's when i get the most raids <laughs> oh that's so kidding, funny it sure feels that's that funny. way yeah it's 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 interesting because before I started doing any content creation, I thought like there was a part of me that was like, it's going to be probably not that hard. Mm. And I was like, you know, I was like, it'll be like, not that it would be easy, but I didn't think um, the challenges that I would face that I would face. Like, do, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because like, when you're starting out, you don't necessarily know what kind of challenges to expect. And then, right. you know, and then you experience them and, and you're like, oh. Well, the the bigger my channel gets, the more the the, the awesomer it is. But also, the more challenges you face. Yeah, right. That's yeah. That's, that's that's the truth about success in general, mm -hmm. um, which is unfortunately why a lot of people sabotage when they s start to see themselves succeed. Mm -hmm. um, but the truth of the matter is, it's life is a lot harder when you don't have things going on. Uh, for yourself than it is yeah. when you have a lot going on uh, it, yeah. that you have to think about. It It is more challenging, but it's also a lot more rewarding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very true. <sighs> Somebody almost stole my star with Boo. Oh. I used it right before Boo appeared above my head. Last I checked, you're supposed to have 50 coins in order to steal stars. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? No. What do you mean by 50 coins? In the first Mario Party, and I think a lot of others, particularly the N64 ones, mm -hmm. um, you can use Boo to steal your opponent's coins. Or oh. if you have 50 coins, you can bo use Boo to steal a star from somebody. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's... Mario Party uh, always had a reputation to ruin friendships, but especially in the 90s. That is true. Nintendo's been destroying families for years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My uh, my roommate and I have been friends since college, and um, we, uh, we used to play um, New Super Mario Brothers Wii a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, him and I and, and uh, my girlfriend at the time called it the divorce game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah. 
Yeah, and my uh, my siblings and I are very competitive. Um, so there's games we actually don't like play very much of together. So one is Super um, Smash Brothers Ultimate. Mm. Oh yes, that that game caused like tears. <laughs> <laughs> just just the frustration of like, how are you always beating me and stuff like that. So there's like a limit to where we can play it. Um, in the house just cause we get so like wound up and it's, it's kind of funny, but I think we're good at knowing the limit, but when we first get a game, finding where that limit is, if it's like, you know, a party game where we're against each other, it's, it, it's kind of a disaster. <laughs> yeah. So true. Final race. I always miss the first shortcut oh. here. So I keep forgetting that it's a terrible idea to do that big jump in the beginning when you're doing 200cc because mm -hmm. you don't land on the middle platform. You jump too far and clear it and then you fall in the water behind it. Oh. Stabs me every time. I love 200 CC because it's it just feels I don't know it just feels better. It does. But I know some people get like a motion sickness from Mario Kart. Or frustrated. Yeah, or frustrated. I one of my cousins, um, she, she doesn't play video games but when she came over we were like you should try mario kart so we all played mario kart yeah. and she was so like and like just couldn't take her eyes off the screen she's much older than me she's like um almost in her 30s and she uh. she 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 just couldn't blink she her eyes were just so wide and she's like if i blink i'm gonna miss it i'm gonna miss <laughs> yeah. the turn and it was so funny, and we were all laughing, like, what is wrong? Like, you can blink, and she's like, I can't. It's moving too fast. It was so funny. So whenever I play Mario Kart and everything's going so fast, I just see her, like, struggling. Just, yeah. her eyes were watering, and we're like, you can actually blink, it's fine. It was funny. It's F-Zero that you don't want to blink. <laughs> I fell into the pit that was the side again. Oh. It's so funny when you're uh, when you're riding on the walls, suddenly gravity as a whole is sideways, and then you fall between buildings and, and Lakitu is mm -hmm. like, Yeah, I'm taking you back. I love this level because it, it reminds me of San Francisco. Oh. Particularly because of the um, the uh, trolley cars. The, oh. uh, and the um and the harbor itself i've never been to san Fr i've never been anywhere i'm like a i don't know i'm like just always in canada i like uh, i've been to new york and i went to florida recently that was the only time i've kind of really gone oh, out I love and then, florida and that's not a popular thing to say but i love florida no. <laughs> i have an uncle it, that lives in tampa um oh. uh, which is the bay on the west side of the florida peninsula all right. It, it was nice. I liked it. One more with a series of battles. Oh. That's my tradition. I finish off with a with a series of battles whenever I stream Mario Kart. Okay, let's do it. All right, random battle, no teams, frantic frantic items, um, three minutes around, hard computers, all vehicles, ten rounds. Let's do it. Oh, snap. So you're with the blue team and I'm with the red team. Okay. My so team's you know, stacked. Do you know how this works? I think I've played this one before. It's like how many... Is it how many hits? So you all you're trying to do is avoid us. Um, mm -hmm. We're the cops and we're trying to catch you. Okay. And if we do, you get... You get um, in a jail cell which is basically a cage floating 
Um, uh, oh, I thought my controller died. I'm just going really slow because oh. it's not 100. Uh, it's not 200 cc anymore. <laughs> yeah, I thought the same. I was like, um, wait, what is happening? Yeah. So when your teammates get captured, you can free them by stepping on the button um, below it. Oh, okay. So if time runs out and you have one of your teammates free, you win. And we're trying to catch all of you before that happens. I see. I don't think I've played this one specifically, actually. No, no, no. You got me with the banana. I did? But I got you. No! With, with the piranha. <laughs> oh, but Isabel opened the cell. Yes, it's my girl. Why am I not? Oh, oh. I keep I keep going after my own teammates. What the hell? <laughs> no, no, no. Can I take out the police? Oh, I got Isabel. You can't. No, uh, um, I can't. I just gotta run. I just gotta run. Oh, all you have to do is uh, ride under the cage on the um, on the blue button. Look, you two okay. just did that. You can't cage Isabel. Well, I'm gonna try. Damn it! That was not a good try. Oh no. Got her. I slipped on a banana. No. I have to go get Isabel. Awkward open the cell. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh no, 23 seconds. Oh, you're the only one left. No. Am I? Yeah, it's down on the wire. 15 seconds with just you remaining. So it's up to you to hit that button. Or just avoid us. Ah, oh, you just want it for everybody. <laughs> oh man, the pressure. Well done. That, that was fun. I've never played that mode before. It's good. Yeah. Okay. Vote for. Let's see. What... I'm gonna vote for Lunar Calling. Mm -hmm. Oh, you voted for the one I voted for last time. It looked I really cute. It. it is. Have you ever played um, Splatoon? Yeah, yeah. I had a series on my channel for a bit, and then I think it's just Splatoon has blown out for so for so for a while now. Mm. And it, it didn't seem to, like, the interest seemed to go down a bit. Yeah. But I do uh, play, I played a lot of Splatoon. Nice. I freaking love Splatoon. Yeah. I've never, I've never done a video or, a, or even a stream of um, Splatoon. Mm -hmm. But I've played Splatoon 2 on um, one of Cutscene Cutie's streams. I also started running into players that were... Like, just... Prof like, they seemed like professional or something. They what were so good. I don't know, I just... Um, they, they were so good, like, the kids that were playing. Oh, yeah. I don't know, like, what happened. I don't know if I got really bad or they were really good, but something happened. Adulthood happened, that's what. I, I guess. I remember um, always being my parents uh, uh, when they once in the blue moon played video games with me. And, and, <laughs> and then now, 
now that I'm in the age range that they were at the time, uh, I always get crushed when I play games like Fortnite, Apex, mm -hmm. things like that. I, yeah. I always get destroyed. I, I've never got a single kill in Apex this day, but to be fair, I've played it only once and it was on this channel. Um, Fortnite, I may have like three lifetime kills and all of them were just sheer luck. Oh, really? <sighs> Yeah. It's it's I feel like games are just so much more fast paced. Mm -hmm. Like it's like the faster it can be, the better. But sometimes it just it seemed for me it seemed overwhelming. Yeah. When they're that fast. Like I, Apex seems so crazy. I've never tried mm -hmm. it. It's fun, but it is mm -hmm. tough. Um yeah, every time I play games like that, I always wish that Golden Eye had online multiplayer because I would crush all of them. <laughs> yes! Got a Waluigi with a star. I feel like I'm going so slow. I need those coins. So many coins. What in the one guy is a tower of coins? Mm -hmm. How? It's nice that the player in the lead has a crown over their head so you know to go after them. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I got destroyed. Oh. <laughs> I got last. <laughs> that was hard. Yeah, that was really hard. I am not doing terribly well. I'm in dead last in the overall standing so far. Oh really? I didn't yeah. even I didn't see it. I'm not very good at battle in Mario Kart 8. Battle this is yeah, it's oh wow, we oh. chose the same one. Yep. It's like we know what we're gonna play. <laughs> battle is definitely Bombs. different. Mm-hmm. It is. The nature of it changed quite a bit. I um, I love that they kept um, having balloons mm -hmm. since uh, Mario Kart 64, but on Super Mario Kart on SNES, um, probably due to hardware limitations, they couldn't have balloons hanging above them. They mm -hmm. had they had spinning balls around them. They had three uh, balls around your vehicle orbit orbiting around you basically. It actually looked really cool. That sounds it sounds really, really cool. I wish I played more like classic games. We'll have to do this again with uh Super Mario Kart. Yeah. We totally could on the Switch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I keep forgetting that you can't hurt yourself with with the bombs in this uh, game mode. Yeah, I I thought I could, and then I, and then I uh, realized I I actually couldn't. Oh my! Oh man. Isabel, Isabel betrayed me. I fixed up her island, and she betrayed me. She got me out. It feels so awesome when um, you hear game characters sing a song that you wrote. Um, like take Isabel for example, you mm -hmm. can uh, in Animal Crossing you can set your island's theme song, mm -hmm. and uh, and then she sings it back to you as like a test round. Yeah. And um, it felt kind of surreal because the song I used is a, is a rock song I wrote IRL like oh. thirteen years prior, um, back when I um, back when 
a Nintendo game singing a song that I uh, wrote wasn't even a thought. Uh, yeah. that, that was that was before I was aware that that existed in uh, Mario Paint because I never played Mario Paint. <laughs> but but yeah, hearing Isabel uh, sing a song that I wrote back in my college days felt really awesome. It was yeah. I didn't. Uh, so it was my first time playing an Animal Crossing game with New Horizons, mm, same. and. Um, and I just, I didn't know that she would sing it back. Like, I didn't really know how it worked. So when she, I think I changed it to something I looked up online because I didn't know how to use it, so I was trying to figure it out. And when she sang it back, I'm telling you, I almost cried. It was so cute. That was adorable. Still last. <laughs> <laughs> this is This is hard. It's tough. I did set the computers to hard. Mm. Okay. We'll go for Battle Stadium. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I picked that before you said it. Nice. We have finally card. become synced in ASMR. Yeah. Autonomous synchronization meridian response. <laughs> Giant thief. So in this one, one person holds the shine sprite and tries to keep it away from everybody. Oh, it's okay. literally just a game of keep away. It's tail tag. <laughs> tail tag. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly like that. Okay. Where is everybody? Oh my gosh, this crown is too big for baby Mario's head. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I can't throw my bomb until I'm done using my piranha plant. Of course I run right into it and explode. Whoa, whoa. Huh. Yes. I took my crown. Soon to be my crown. Boom. No. I had it for a measly oh, one oh. second. It Not fell off. It was my fault. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. I have the, I have the, I have the shine spray again. I turn around. Oh, man. Come on, come on, come on. I feel like I turned so no. slow. No. Baby Peach. I told you, you gotta watch Baby Peach. She is evil. shine sprite away and right as I was about to grab it he just zoomed by me and swiped it at least he swiped right <laughs> <laughs> he was going right in my perspective so I had to did I oh I almost I almost grabbed it Speaking of grabbing, no, 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 shy guy, shy guy, you're only supposed to exist in Mario's dream, <laughs> according to the Mario universe. I think I'm gonna actually, cut it. I, I actually love that the characters that were in Doki Doki Panic and then Super Mario Brothers 2 in, uh, 2 in the form of Mario's dream became actual characters in Mario. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm sure. Like I'm, I'm, I'm sure you know about the whole Doki Doki Panic thing, right? No, I do not. Oh. I told you, I don't know. I'm like, like a baby in video games. I didn't. Oh, okay. So, well, on the NES, uh, 
the original trilogy had Mario Brothers 1 through 3, um, but Mario Brothers 2 was a little different. There's actually two Super Mario Brothers 2s. Um, mm-hmm. The original one that was Japan only, um, that was formatted to be much like the original Super Mario Brothers. But it was so difficult that they uh, didn't end up releasing it in America, um, mm-hmm. Nor- North America in general. Um, 90, 99% of the time I tell the stories to somebody uh, in person in my own country, but, nor- <laughs> but North America. Um, it wasn't released here um, initially because they deemed it too hard for a North American audience. So instead, they took another game that existed um, in their library called Doki Doki Panic, um, reskinned it as a, as a Mario game, and that became our Mario 2. Oh. Doki Doki Panic was a game that Shigeru Miyamoto created um, originally for like a gaming festival in at the time. That's but, what I love. Huh? I was going to say, I love learning about, um, like, gaming history. Yeah. There was, um, a documentary on Netflix called Game On. I keep just missing it. Um, sorry, I, I don't remember if it was called Game On, but it was, like, something Sounds to familiar. that effect. And, um, I don't think it's called oh Game On, God. I don't remember, but... I got... You got I, it? I got Shy Guy at a distance with a green shell. Five oh minutes of past battles over. Oh my gosh. I tied for first with Waluigi, and that bumped me up to eighth overall. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> It's great. But yeah, yeah, this gaming documentary takes goes through like gaming from the start all the way till now. And it was really, really well done. Nice. Yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to check that out. Yeah, I don't remember what it was called, but... If it's not called Game On, I'll put it up on screen. <laughs> oh, it's called High Score. Oh, it's called High Score. It's called right. High Score, yeah. Okay, I don't have to put it on screen after all. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's called High Score. It's re- it was really well done. It was a, it was really interesting to watch like how like esports became a thing and how like online play became a thing and how like arcade games evolved. Like it was just it was really really cool. Yeah. You know, I just realized that um, you could be checking those things while on face cam because it just has your animoji. You just have mm-hmm. to you just have to be careful not to have it uh, act weird. In response to it, whereas if I look down on my phone on face cam, people will know. Yeah. If I look down too far, um, it's cheat. Like the microphone gets in the way of the bottom half of my, like where my lips and nose are. So oh, no. it stops tracking there and it makes it look like I'm puffing my cheeks up. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. That's awesome. If I was as rich as Sleepy Kitty ASMR has claimed I I, I was for years, <laughs> I I would because I have an Android. I would buy an iPhone solely for the Animoji um, for my impression of you. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh, that would be crazy. I'll have to find an alternative app. Yeah, it was kind of interesting learning iPhone because I'm I like Android. But I wanted the Animoji, and there's nothing like it that I could yeah. find. And so my dad's like, the the like thing is up, and there's an iPhone that you can get, and it it's like you don't have to pay anything extra. So I was like, all right. I was like, we'll just get that one. Yeah. It worked out though, which was good. It would suck if it didn't work out. <laughs> yeah. I'm willing to bet that there's some comparable. Android equivalent to Animoji. I just have no idea what it is. I don't know. I, I like searched and searched and I couldn't find anything. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I think it's because the camera in the iPhone was made to like track it. Like, mm. even there's this streamer, 
Um, I think her name is Code Miko, but she wears this body suit I know to track. You're talking about. Yeah, she said she uses the the iPhone to track her face. And I you're was talking, like, "What?" You're talking about uh, Mikotsu, right? I, I don't, I, I think so. I don't, rem I don't remember. She, it's like I've she wears I've a actually, full. She what? She wears a full like suit that she bought, and it's like this 3D model that she said it's supposed to be like. Um, she said she's like a game developer, and it's like to have full immersion where oh. the character interacts. So she plays the character. Then I just we're came... not talking about the same person because yeah. Nico, I know, is not a game developer, but a gaming enthusiast and um, and uh, and uh, formerly an ASM artist. Um, mm. We we did a Clue collab together a long time ago. Oh no, I think I think it's different, but it was. I thought it was interesting. She said she spent like thirty thousand dollars on all this equipment, but wow. the thing she uses to track her face is the iPhone's camera. And that I was like, that's, that's crazy. crazy. I was like, that's really the most accurate technology she could find. So I was like, I'm sticking with the Animoji because <laughs> it's probably the most accurate face tracking I can get. Yeah, totally. I am now standing above, well, I was standing above Denmark. Now I'm standing on Sweden. You are standing, I can't tell if you're standing on Iceland or not. Oh, no, you're probably a little bit south of it. Okay, Lunar Colony, we're doing Renegades again, and this time, wait, are we doing, oh yeah, this time oh, you're the cops, and, and I'm the, um, and I'm the oh. crooks. Dodge the law. How the turntables. <laughs> wicka, wicka, wicka. <laughs> That's from The Office. <laughs> yeah. I always I feel like, The um, Office. Yeah, I feel like I'll make office references and people will be like, what are you talking about? The yeah, Office is my second favorite show of all time, after Seinfeld. Yeah. What? Already? That was, that was fast. What? I got zero. The okay. robot did everything. Okay. <laughs> what was that? All right. <laughs> I literally did zero. That, now that is awkward. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, doing uh, dragons, uh, whatever it's called. Coin battle again. Oh. Dragon palace. When I was little, I always misread Palace as place, especially mm -hmm. when playing Super Mario World when you get to the Switch Palace. <laughs> I, I yeah. realized, yeah, and Switch Place. <laughs> <laughs> That's my impression of seven-year-old me. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, dyslexic, so I'm always mis like reading things. Oh, and it's, yeah. It's kind of funny, I, and I spell things wrong, so my brother was going to try Animal Crossing, um, and he wanted to name his island, and I said name it Cookie Island, but I huh. spelt it Chooky, <laughs> but I had like, I pressed horrible. save, so the name of his island is Chooky Island. I love it. It was so funny. You know what? Think of it this way. Combining chocolate chip with cookie to make Chooky. It's a Chooky. Yeah. Damn, I'm gonna call chocolate chip cookies chookies from now on. <laughs> Why not? My island's called Famcamia. Nice. As is my Discord server. I feel personally attacked by this inkling that just it look looked <laughs> me in the eye and then hit me with a boom. <gasps> so aggressive. I've had an IRL experience uh, like that a few years back. Um, really? Yes. Um, I pulled into a parking spot. Right after I finished parking, 
uh, a car next to me pulled out and ground against the side of my car. Oh. Thank- yeah, thankfully, thankfully, my car was um, on death's door at that point. So it had like a year left in it. So I didn't bother to repair it. It was still very drivable and everything. But I had to drive around with a big fat scratch on the side of my car. And oh. um, so after they completely pulled out, they stopped, looked me in the eye, and took off like the wind. Whoa. So fast that I didn't have enough time to get their license plate number. Yeah. It oh, was man. Awful. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, why? Just why? That's crazy. It was one of the most upsetting things that has ever happened to me in the car. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Sorry that happened. Well, life goes on. As cliche yeah. as that is. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. Yeah. And I was on my way to um, go to my favorite uh, vegan restaurant in the area. So, all was well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say the name of the restaurant because it's not a big chain and it could reveal uh, where it might be. Yes, yes. I mean, people do know that I'm in the, in the San Francisco Bay. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't, I don't get much more specific than that. Yeah. Same. Sometimes when I tell stories, I, I like take a, a longer time cause I'm trying to filter like names of places and things yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or like even names trying to filter that out. So sometimes mm-hmm. it takes me a minute. It's so funny because, um, several streamers that know me very well um but not super super well mm. um know my know my name but still call me fam cam because they're not sure if uh, they should use my real name yeah. which my first name is fine i don't i don't reveal any other parts of my real name but yeah people know my first name and there's so many keats in the world yeah they really are so i'm cool with it I had a friend um, in El Mary School that uh, that actually had a name that her parents made up. Um, oh. Yeah, I won't I won't say the name, but let, let mm-hmm. me let, let me think of a let me think of a comparable fake name. Um, think of the name. Think of the name Jessica, mm-hmm. and change it to. Um, uh, I'm, my mind is blanking, uh, <laughs> uh, Lessica <laughs> with an L. Oh. Um, yeah, her, her siblings, ha- uh, her, her, she had two older sisters that had, um, that, that had similar actual common names, mm-hmm. um, that rhymed. Oh, and wow. uh, and when her parents had another kid, they wanted to keep it. They wanted to keep it going, so they just made up a name. <laughs> uh, so they went with uh, their version of what I'm saying, Lessica. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's so yeah, funny. Friendly reminder to everybody: that's just a code name I'm using. Yeah, I'm not, that's I'm not saying her actual name because I guarantee you she's the only one in the world with that name, and I want to protect her privacy. Right. But it was amazing. Um, when I went to, when I went off to college, um, uh, it was three hours away from where I grew up, and I happened mm-hmm. to meet somebody at that college who knew so, also knew somebody growing up with that name. And he's like, "Oh wow!" He's like, "Wait, are you from insert town where you grew up in?" And I was like, mm-hmm. "Yes." So it's the same person. <laughs> wow, it was amazing. That's funny. Everyone always says small world, but sometimes it really feels like that. Yeah. It really, it really is a huge world, but it does feel like a small one a lot of the time. (laughs) Yeah. I've been doing, I've been doing ASMR for over two years and to this day, 
the only ASM artist I've met um, IRL mm-hmm. is Emerald Rose ASMR. She doesn't really do ASMR anymore. She just uh, uh, does a lot of hilarious off-color tweets. Oh. She's known as Emmy now, just Emmy McGee or Daddy McGee, whatever you want to call her. <laughs> but we did a couple in-person collabs uh, when she was doing ASMR, including um, a uh, a uh, hot sauce challenge, oh. a la, a, la of, a la hot ones. We actually had the last dab that they uh, oh, that they wow. eat on on the hot ones. I want to do that, but my sister said I'll die because I can't handle spicy food. She's like that. That will take your life. She's like you cannot. I can't <laughs> even handle like sometimes. Like I'm not a lightweight at spice, but just it's like it makes my face red and my lips turn red. I just I don't know. It just doesn't go well. So she said, "Oh, that was an accident." Yeah. She said, um, she's like, no, that will be way too much for you. Yeah. Well, spicy food is like working out. You, you want to sm- start really small and build over time. Mm-hmm. The first time I had a jalapeno, um, I hurled. But now, wow. now I can have the last dab with no problems. And that has pepper X, the world's hottest pepper in it. Mm. Jalapenos. A lot of people think of jalapenos as ridiculously hot peppers, and they feel that way to people who aren't really into spicy food. But compared to most other peppers, they're nothing. <laughs> jalapenos have like three thousand to eight thousand scoville units, depending on the pepper. Habanero, True. which is one of the other really popular ones, has a hundred thousand to three hundred fifty thousand scoville units. The ghost pepper has one million. The Pepper X, world's hottest pepper, has mm-hmm. around 3 million. That's, I, like, why? It's so hot. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, it's one of those feelings that you learn to enjoy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really interesting. Um, but yeah, there was a time where I could not ha- handle spicy foods to save my life. I was, um, I was in high school and, um, I was playing on the tennis team, and on our, on our way home from a match um, at a at a rival team's school, mm. we stopped at a Mexican restaurant that um, had a bowl of jalapenos at every table. And because we were naturally because we were in high school, everybody uh, was pressuring one person um, to eat a jalapeno and he kept mm-hmm. refusing 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 and everyone was peer pressuring him of course yeah and um and uh finally i was i started to get a little annoyed by it so i was like you yeah. know what i'll just do it yeah. and so i did and at the time i didn't know that drinking water makes it worse mm-hmm. so yeah it does so it does all the capsaicin uh, which is the oil and peppers that make them spicy, just mm-hmm. spread everywhere, and I oh. ended up going out in the back and hurling. A couple of the, a couple of the other, uh, a couple of other guys on the team came outside to watch. Oh my! Yeah, that's it was crazy. A bad time. It took me maybe ten years to get into spicy food again. Yeah, but. but that was around the time I discovered Indian food because there are no Indian, or I shouldn't say there are no, there were no Indian restaurants at, uh, anywhere near me at the time. Mm. So I didn't, so I didn't really, uh, I didn't really try Indian food until college. Um, and I got super hooked. It's now my favorite kind of, um, it's now my favorite kind of, uh, cuisine. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I I should try and get my tolerance to be higher because yeah. I feel like I'm missing out. Yeah, spicy food if you don't go overboard. <laughs> Important key point: don't go overboard. But if you don't go overboard, it's actually really healthy for you because it's very cleansing to the system. Yeah, and that's true. Vote an urgent underpass again. Okay. Oh, wow, you're standing on Greece. I'm not sure where I'm standing. Probably South Poland. 
That's amazing. You can tell where it is. Yeah. The farthest east I've ever been on the globe is Italy. Oh, wow. Where I, in uh, Italy? Uh, I went to um, Pisa, Florence, and Rome, mm-hmm. and Vatican City, which is technically its own country, but it's in the Italy region. <laughs> That's nice. My family, well, on one side of my family, um, they're from Italy. Nice. I think, Same here. Yeah, I think, I, I can't remember, I think... Sicily, they were like farmers, but I can't remember exactly where I think it was Sicily. I'm familiar with Sicily, but I don't know where on the, on the map yeah, uh, Sicily is. I think it's, I don't think it's that big from like the stories they've told and things like that. Hmm. They were, they were also out on a... Um, like the farm, like they ate everything that they would grow and things like that. They worked for someone on a farm. Mm. So I'm not exactly sure. It was just kind of whatever my grandparents would tell me about it. Or like teaching me to cook and things like that. Or say yeah. say inappropriate words in Italian. <laughs> for some reason, my grandmother would, because she would say it. And then I would look at her and say it, knowing that it was probably something I shouldn't say. And she'd be like, don't say that. She would get upset. I would I f- do it just to, to tease her. <laughs> I I feel yeah. I think the I think the biggest uh, I think the biggest uh, stereotype I fall on, uh, uh, under by heritage is um, my potty mouth. Mm-hmm. I try I try I, I try to be as clean as possible on YouTube on, mm-hmm. on Twitch. That's kind of a different story. <laughs> I am I am Irish Italian and stereotypically uh, stereotypically I should have, um, I sh- stereotypically I would say a lot of bad words and I do live up to that normally. That's funny. I'm Jamaican and Italian. Nice. Yeah. And so I'm not sure. I all I know is I'm very loud. Both yeah. sides of my family are, are always uh, just loud, like the our pitch of our voice is usually pretty, just loud for some reason. I don't know. I don't know if that's a stereotype, but it's just something I've noticed that yeah. I do that both sides of my family do. I can. Oh, I've caught three people. I didn't even think I did that. And I'm last <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, but I'm in third overall. Oh, okay. You're in second. I don't even Listen know that. how that's possible. I, <laughs> when you watch my side, I'm just gonna be driving around hitting walls. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was good. That was a lot of fun. We need to do this again soon. Yeah, for sure. And thank everybody for watching this. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give this a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Click subscribe, ring the bell, and join the fam. And definitely go over to That's Awkward ASMR's channel. Check out her perspective of this collab. And um, and go follow her on Twitch as well. Her streams are a lot of fun. That being said, thanks uh, once again, Awkward, for joining in this collab it was a lot of fun um and thank everybody for watching and until next time as always stay chill take care